Ah, such beauty. But was it worth it? Was it worth the cost? Perhaps. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Yes, that hurts. That was sheer derp and tiredness, and that hurts. So yes, we've got a bit of a choice between what we're going to be doing today. We could either... We could either start a journey into the Abyss, into level 2 of the Abyss, and we could try and grab the books that are causing some of these things to elude me, or we could continue on the quest, which would probably mean ultimately continuing doing the lovely cog dance. And unfortunately, with two lives, I think I need to take the more cowardly route. Yes, I think we would just be doing more crafting. So let us do more crafting. Nothing wrong with a crafting episode. Certainly less wrong with it than a decorating episode. Yes, my apologies for what that became by the end, but I just wanted to get that done. I wanted to get all of this out of the way so it would be done and I could just not do this again for a good long while. Hopefully. So long as this is a sufficient pollution filter. And maybe I need to reshape the final level of it. Maybe it needs four filters up there instead of just the one. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. We need to keep running the system until we can see what it does. Which probably means I need to go buy some more cobblestone from the villagers. Which probably means I should sleep. Yes, there's one downside. I can't immediately tell if it's day or night outside. Okay, so, coke bricks. This is going to take some sandstone. The rest of this is all easy-peasy. It's essentially just clay, and if I don't have enough clay, I can just go diving for more. But that's sandstone. We already tried the torch trick to try and get ourselves some regular sand, and that didn't work out. So I think what I'll do next is I want to kind of dig around the edge of the island... My apologies, I just hit the mic with my headphones. I, I think I want to go and dig around the sides of the island after I put more cobblestone on. And I want to see if there is any sandstone deposits, like, just beneath the sand layer anywhere. And that'll be a diving project that kind of gets me sand as a side project anyway. As a side product anyway, I should say. Let's put the fancy pants on. I should probably properly rename those to fancy pants. They've just, that's just become their name now. So, how you doing, CQM? Good day? Yeah, I think everyone was out at church is the problem here. Full nine stacks, why not? We'll store some of them and the rest will just turn into seared stone. We can kind of use it just building the smeltery bigger anyway. Yes. And one of the things about that's nice about when they upgrade the fort is they build themselves more chests. These chests are kind of the limit on how long we can keep on trading with the villagers. When those chests are all full up, then you're going to have to start buying things from them again. Oh, I don't have a chisel. I thought I could have sworn I made a chisel at the... Eh. No big deal. Let us just go make one. But yes, uh, once all their chests are full, they kind of become deadlocked and you would have to buy them out in order to start selling them things again. So, there's kind of a limit to how much money you can make off of a single village. Unless they have something that's using those goods, which ultimately... Their only real user of goods is construction. And once they run out of things to build, that's kind of it. So there is an upper limit to how much money you can make out of a single millionaire village. Thankfully, they sell a wand of summoning, so we can build more. Uh, what do I want to make it out of? I guess I want to make it out of hard carbon and copper. 
No, just a single ingot because it would double. There we go. And chisel head, tool rod cast. Also, I guess I should build some more seared tanks and get some. Yeah, get some um, of this blood on the poor. Yeah. That would probably be something that was wise to do. No, I guess I could have just used one of these that are... It didn't particularly matter. <laughs> I guess it's a good habit to get into anyway, is to melt what you're using. I need to reposition my mic because I keep on hitting the dang thing. There we go. Yes, I have a new mic arm and I'm still adjusting to it a little bit. I decided that rather than uh, if I was going to be doing the YouTube series again, rather than having my mic sitting derply on my desk, I might as well get a proper mounting bracket for it. And I, I, it's lovely so far. I'm just still adjusting to it. Hmm. Yes. It has a feel of kind of alien technology, the fact that we keep on having materials that we don't understand, and yet we keep making tools out of them. I don't know what the stuff is. I know exactly what it's made out of. I know, heck, I, I'm the one who made it. And I know its exact properties when I make a tool out of it, but I don't know what it is. At that point, I think it's... That almost sounds like we're doing it for marketing purposes, doesn't it? It's our mysterious super alloy. It's beyond science. Yeah, I'm, I'm on to my own tricks. I'm only... I'm only... Uh, I, I'm playing it up for the fools. Yeah, that's how I get the real window money. I convince them I'm doing this with super science or magic or something. That's significantly better. And we're getting closer to having a life. <laughs> Which uh, is a sad statement. We're getting closer to buying an extra life, is what I should say. And uh, yeah, that'll probably be the thing that pushes me over the edge to actually journeying into the abyss. So, next up, I think I said I was going to search around the island to see if I can find some just plain sandstone. Make sure to put the dang tank on before you get in the water. That's going to be a constant struggle for me now, isn't it? Yeah, no, this looks like it goes right down to some sort of rock. I guess just kind of work my way around the island, sample it at various points, see if sandstone is a thing anywhere. Because if it was going to be anywhere, it would be in this big sand bank, I think. Because, you know, that's geologically what sandstone is. It's compacted down sand. That's how it tends to work in Minecraft, too, I think, is after you dig down a couple of layers of sand in, like, a desert or on a beach, you sometimes find sandstone. You know, I suppose that with our wetsuit being so well insulated underwater, it's a bit of a boon. Because now we just need to... What is this stuff? Chalk. Neat. Because now we, we should be... Uh, it should either take us a long time to freeze or we won't freeze. With won't freeze being the one I'll hope for. It would be nice if we could simply swim around for all 900 of, of the seconds of that lovely new O2 tank we have. I suppose that maybe I should try the... After I buy a life, maybe my next big purchase will be I'll try the armored, uh, armored tank and see if that has better thermal properties. See if we can walk around wearing it without overheating. Maybe that's the real expense. 
it's an actual balanced insulation. Yeah, it's not looking like it. It's looking more like, uh, it's looking a lot like we're just going to have to do this with the sand. Well, let's kind of get away from the areas we frequent. Just kind of make a nice trench in an area that's a bit less traveled. Because it'll be ugly. And let's set up some filters. Hmm, salt. Do I have any uses for salt right now? I can make bacon. Which I think bacon... Yeah, and a high oven. Uh, the high oven is, is another... Uh, it's a custom kind of smeltery thingy that... It's a multi-block like the smeltery. And it can do these... It can do some custom... It can, it can get you some alloys with different recipes than the standard smeltery ones. Yeah, like we got pig iron here made out of uh, iron, sugar, bone meal, and bacon or meat. We've got night slime made out of uh, purple slime, gravel, and iron, which uh, normal night slime is made out of iron, slime, and stone, so... It's much cheaper the standard way. Yeah, the only expensive thing is that purple slime, which I don't know if we have a way... Well, we can... Huh. Is night slime any good? As a material for anything? Dramatic. 17.1. How does that compare to prismarine? Uh, da, 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 da. Where is... 18.8. Okay, it's not as good as armor. I think dramatic is a fairly good modifier, though. Yeah. 850. So how's that compared to hard diamond? Hard carbon. That always gets me. Um, 850, 5.8. Hard carbon makes better tools. Yeah, night slime isn't terribly good. Anyway, what was I doing? I'm I'm sorry, I got distracted. I was setting up some filters so that I could only carry home what I wanted to. And yes, salt is useless. That's what I got distracted by. Eh, let's carry a couple stacks of sugar cane. We're gonna have lots by the end of this. There, that's better. Let's just surface and get some air. And note that our O2 doesn't fill instantly. It fails fairly quickly, but not instantly. And with the tank this big, it actually gets a little bit noticeable. And yeah, just kind of go along, graze a nice trench through the sand. I'm not even sure how much I'm going to need. Well, let's see here. If I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight stacks of sand. That'll. Or. Uh, eight stacks of piles of sand. That'll translate into a stack of sand. And then. Once that is turned into sand. That'll translate into in the compacting cable once more. That'll translate into 16 sandstone. And that will translate into... How many coke blocks? Coke bricks, I should say. That'll translate into 16 sets of it, which should be more than sufficient. Yeah, we need to make nine crafts of it. So we'll have more than enough sand and thus sandstone for our purposes in this trip, if we fill up all those stacks. Oh dear, that Enderman is after our booty. I can't say I blame him. It is rather fabulous.
But he just has to deal with the fact that I am not interested in his advances. How are we doing? We're getting there. Okay, so mining up a bunch of sand isn't so bad if you go about it, like, in a reasonable enough manner. Huh. So, it's looking like our suit can't protect us from hypothermia all the way. At least, it can't protect us well enough to be usable at nighttime. I think that's the problem here is, well, actually, I have, I have that amulet. There, that switched it to daytime. We'll have to see if that helps. Oh, we, we had all the stuff done anyway. Yeah, we filled up all our slots, except for sugarcane, which, honestly, sugarcane is just a bonus product right now. So let's swim far enough away to despawn everything on the island, and let's circle around back to our base. And let us process our bounty. Hmm. Yes, I think that right now I'm swimming even faster than a Minecraft boat could carry me. And if only I could put that water breathing modifier on the helmet. 60 seconds isn't, you know, 900, but it's still enough for... Good deep diving. I, I guess I wouldn't wear it for this. I wouldn't wear it for this particular mining operation. And probably, honestly, not into the abyss either. Yeah, it would just make it good for casual swimming use, I guess. Hmm. Should I build support pillars so that it doesn't look like the base is just hanging off? Eh. There's aesthetics and then there's aesthetics. And I've had enough aesthetics for a little while. There we go. Lots of lovely sugarcane. And even more lots of lovely sand piles. Well, just get it done. Yep. And I probably already passed what I need, but we might as well process the whole stack and then just take out enough to uh, get the craft done and just have a nice pile of sand for our trouble. We could we could just smelt it up and sell some to the Normans. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we need one more. Nine. And that should build us a Coke oven. Easy as you please. Let's get rid of these iron doors. We probably aren't going to use them. Anything in the smelter right now? No, I forgot. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's, uh,. I need to process this and get that going. Mm. And let's just keep the two stacks, put those into storage. There we go. And start to smelt that down. Oh boy, it looks like our pollution cloud is piling up around the cap. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess eventually it'll fill in that top layer, and then the only valid spot will be the filter, so it'll eventually kind of cycle in. It should be self regulating. Should. 
we'll just leave it be for now and we will keep an eye on it. Okay, so next I'm going to need, let's see here, I'm going to need 36 bricks and 36 clay balls. And I think I can just do this in here, right? No? Brick. Huh. I can cast it out in the smeltery. But otherwise, the only way... We can't make it in the... Uh... Yeah. Well, it's been a while since we took out this old thing. But we still remember you, Brick Mold. And we might not remember you again in the future. Our decadent, luxury, maximized system there, yes. Far, far in excess of what we need. And that should do it. I guess let's get some more lava on the burner too. Can never have enough lava these days. Yeah, especially since we're still building it up. So, there shouldn't be too many uses for sandstone at this stage. Yeah, that kiln brick. I need to look in the recipes and see if there's anything useful. Oh, I need to make the tools. I need to make the tools. Okay, well, that's easy enough. And yes, I should find the proper... I just put that there so I could... So that's... Yeah, hammer, solderer, and pliers. So, hammer, we all know and love. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's time to make more of... Uh, it's time to make more of our tool rods. Well, that's nice and easy these days. Yep. We can just casually grab a stack's worth. Is my view getting redder over time? I don't know. Well, regardless, stack of pulp. We should have a nice supply of that built up. Oh, uh, yeah. Need to... Clear out the last of the staircase pieces. <laughs> and... Oh. No, 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 no. That's tier one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, wait. Yeah, that is what we want. Oh, it's just not pulp that we want. It's refractory clay. Do I need to make more refractory clay? No, not yet. Been, a, been so long since I've done it that I forgot the recipe for a little while there. Oh, carpenters. There we go. Eh. That's enough. Okay. So. Oh. Stupid art of tools. Keep yourselves in there, please. So. Next I'm going to need my durable twine. Am I going to need anything else? Yeah, for the solderer. But we'll get to that in a moment. Let's get the other two done first. Keep on draining out our excess wood tar. Oh, diamonds. Right, need the diamonds too. It would be helpful to actually have the tool pieces that we are making things out of. Or the, the material. Okay, so that solderer is going to be a bit of a project. Ah, good, we have enough for a burn now. And let's just... Send the lava everywhere. Just splash it around liberally. Anoint everything with its warm glow. Yeah. 
sure. Keep the process going. Make more pollution for me. Let's see it all build up and go away. And solderer, solderer, solderer. So, the only real difficult bit is probably going to be this heating coil. Because, is that specifically cobbled granite? Huh, interesting. Yeah, that's going to use one of our nano machine frames. We think we have some of those. And that's also going to take gelled slime, which is slime and the brick mold. And that means that I was right. We do need to go and empty out our... Uh, we do need to make some more seared tanks and empty out the blood bank. So can I use this clear glass to make more tanks? If I, it would be in the masons. Yeah, I can use that. That's no problem. Just gonna need the seared bricks for it. And we already made ourselves a redstone block to make the solderer, too. So this will be nice and easy. Let's put these away. Let's kind of just sort everything in its place. It's time to cycle our luxury burner. That's an even number of blocks. Lovely. I love it when my timing is perfect. It so rarely is. And let's just go get ourselves a whole mess of blood. You know what? Let's get ourselves some more drains and faucets, too. Just so that we can... Uh, Pour it all out nice and fast. Oh, we don't have enough seared bricks. Never mind. Oh, maybe we have enough seared bricks. So, one, two, three. Uh, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, we had plenty. So, sure. Let's take a nice visit to the blood bank. So how you guys doing? Why is that an invalid smeltery all of a sudden? What happened? Vines. Vines happened. Thankfully, that's an easy fix. Yeah. So, make sure that... I, I guess this is the decor fighting back. But when you deconstruct something, make sure you deconstruct it completely, including any bits that might attempt to grow back. Good advice, I suppose. Pour out a ton of blued.
Yep. They may not fill terribly quickly, but we can at least parallelize the task. And isn't it just a beautiful sight? All the dark red blood slopping out. And this should result in, ex in, in a wonderfully excessive amount of slime, which is kind of just exactly what we want, really. Eh, I don't really want to wait for that to finish. So let's just make a little temporary type device here. Yeah, let's... Okay, let's take this off here. Because, uh, yes, to make a... Uh... Okay, so then... What do I want to do? I want to... Over here. Up there. Yep. And then... Put the tap on there. Just put some sort of block up there. And pour. And that should auto pour it out. Yep. Okay. Yes, the behavior is attached to the seared taps, not to the smeltery itself. And that'll just pour out the entire tank's worth and turn it into slime balls for us. And then, of course, all we've got to do is move the tap and the lever back to its proper position once it's done. Yep. Simple solution. Really, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to need a better storage system. This honestly has worked better than I thought it would, but it's reaching its upper limit now that we've got all the millions of different recipes going on. And that is a problem that is only going to get more and more apparent as we progress further in this age. Well, I guess I don't have to wait too terribly long. But still. Let's be a little bit impatient. Huh. Oh, I guess that the tap must still be activated because the tap itself didn't get deconstructed. But yeah, look at that. Okay, so how much did we need? We need 9 times 4. We need 36. Wait, is that what we need? We're making the coke bricks, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. We, we're, we're making the soldering iron for which we need the uh, magma shards. Yes. So that's going to take 5, 10, 15, 20 of them. We can do that. And just directly turn those into loot, into slime. And then directly turn those into the lovely congealed slime. Gelled slime, whatever you call it. And this stuff, uh, it makes the gelled slime set, which is an armor set that will keep you cooler. So it's a bit odd that it goes into the magma shard to make things hotter. I ain't gonna question it. There, just like that. And then we need specifically three cobbled granite. Okay, so if I take these out. Yep, that'll work. That'll do. Huh. Did I just get four cobbled granite out of three smooth stone? Neat. We might have a self-sustaining stone project there in the making. It's probably luck-based, so that probably... I, I just got extremely lucky or something. Anyway. Soldering iron. <coughs> Pardon. So then I need that and I need that. 
And that was just made in the crafting table, right? Yep, heating coil. And then I need another block of redstone. And I'm going to need three, six, eight iron. Going to need to crush some more iron. Technically, I could also be melting the iron, but that's a bit wasteful. And two diamonds, a tool rod. And ten durable twine. And that's a soldering iron for us. I don't know. Must be 12 durable twine. Derp, I miscounted. Oh, yeah. Let's just throw this mysterious interloper out. And from there, we should be back to being making uh, our coke bricks. There we go! Coke rocks. Now, we can't just assemble the multi-block coke oven out of those bricks. We're first... Why do I get a loot crate instead of just the plain loot like every other quest is done? We first need to make the engineer's hammer, but that should be a relatively simple one. Yeah, it's two sticks, two iron, and a string. It is a very simple tool. It's just a good old-fashioned beaten stick. There we go. Now, the coke oven will kind of be the first of our... Well, I, I guess that, yeah, this is kind of the furnace -y area, I suppose. So we can set it up right here. And as you might have guessed from the fact that I have 27 of them, it's just a simple 3x3x3 three by three by three cube that you take it, you smack it with a hammer, and that's a coke oven. And what a coke oven will do is it'll allow us to take coal and turn it into coke and creosote oil. Which, honestly, the creosote oil is probably going to be the thing that we actually want this for. The coal coke is just a convenient byproduct. How's this doing? Let's continue to get rid of our wood tar bit by bit. And I need to start making some more straw bales. Where is my... I am out of wheat. Hmm. Well... The coal is a very slow burner, so we'll let that continue on its way for a little while while we go and fetch some wheat. Boring, I know. And let's pour out the last of our blued. Yep, there it go. And... I'm almost curious to see if the if they have another batch for us yet, but we probably have enough slime to last us a little while now. <laughs> now, when I get out of the house, it feels like I'm running slow. Oh, jeez, they've almost filled the blood bank again. What have I wrought? It's glorious. But yes, for right now, I'm just going to need a little bit of straw in order to uh, 
in order to mop up all my wood tar. Because I think I'm going to need coal tar for something pretty shortly. Is it what the designer's workshop uses, or is that... Uh, or does it use creosote? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, if, if I don't empty it out before I get the designer's workshop, then it's just going to be a matter of deconstructing and reconstructing those collectors. But it's kind of a, a waste-not-want-not type thing. I might as well turn as much of it into charcoal as I can while I'm kind of doing other things. So we should get ourselves a collection of, of straw and just kind of just kind of uh, process out all that wood tar. And yep, that's enough. I'm not going to do a, a terribly intensive field harvest because I'm not doing this for money. I just want a couple of stacks of wheat to turn into into straw bales to turn into to turn ultimately into charcoal through the power of wood tar. And yes, we're going to sell our excess seeds to the villagers. Might as well. It's a little bit of money. Check in on the chicken farm, see how they're doing. Other than apparently not being here. Don't you look at me with those judging eyes, cow. And you guys ain't getting jacked from me. Oh, thank God you here. you were here. I thought they were going to start eating me. Oh, yeah, that's right. They don't sell bones or leather, so they're kind of useless to me. Though we should check all the others to see. That was not a good noise. Yep. Those jump scares are a sign that uh, one of the monsters I was trying to avoid ever encountering has appeared. Yes. And I've turned the volume on the on that sound source way down low because if that was playing full volume, this would be hellacious. Thankfully, I think we have avoided them. Ah, good. They have a nice mass of bones. Um, okay, I think I'll keep half for myself. Just because I need them for crafting purposes every so often. So I'll, I'll keep half in the fancy pants, and the rest I'll go sell to the glaziers. Half a stack, I should say. Because, yes, the glaziers are the most important ones that we want to constantly be producing right now. So give them goods whenever I pass by. Huh, they're full up on bones. Neat. I didn't know they could get full up on things that soon. Oh, they want banners now. Sweet. All right. Oh, wow, they've produced lots of windows for us. Wonderful news. Oh, nope. Wrong button. We still came out of that ahead. If I hadn't a derped, I might be buying a life right now. Well, no, I don't think I lost that much money over it. But banners! That's interesting. Let's buy some wool. I think we can produce banners, no problem. Ah, uh, yes, I think they've built some wall sections, because we've supplied them with iron. Which probably means I need to fly through the village again and see what's what. See if they're... Uh, yes, and I need to make some pollution filters to properly put on these areas too now. Now that I can make pollution filters, I should uh, try and put them up on any houses that are using furnaces. Just so that we don't have the millionaire villagers producing any pollution. 
Yeah, that's enough. Yes. Hopefully now that I've stopped producing it, this cloud will dissipate bit by bit. Most of it's over the ocean now, so there's not much that I can do about it. I guess that I could put some crops down inside my base just as a temporary siphon. That should, uh, any sort of crops, like if I just planted some carrots, like a small patch in each of the four chunks that my base covers, that should absorb at least all the carbon. But anyway, banners. Yep, yeah, that's just a stick and some wool. That's no problem. Let's make them a ton. As many as I can build off of just this one stack of wool. And keep the spares. I guess I should have checked on the creosote. It's definitely done at least a couple of coal bricks by now. But we're making the village more productive. That's an important task. Hmm. I think these banners might be another one that's losing me money if I buy the wool, maybe. What's the cost of wool? Okay, so these things sell for 58 deniers, and they use 6 wool. I'll just regard the stick as free. Buy them, please. Thank you. Yep. Oh, and they need some white windows. <laughs> but I cleaned them out. Oh well. They'll build more shortly. Yeah, so 58 deniers for 6 wool. Hmm. So if the wool costs a significantly, if it's close to 10 deniers, then yeah, that isn't a profitable trade. And I would have to go shear the sheep myself if I wanted to make money off of it. Yeah, not profitable. But we ain't doing that one for the profit. We're doing that one so that they can build the town. So yeah, we're really close to having another life, which would make me comfortable going back into the abyss. anything more than just dipping my toes in. So... Hmm. Tinker's Anvil, you say. But not yet. Yes, a little bit of cold coke, a little bit of creosote oil. So what are the uses on this creosote oil? What can we... I can't use it from there. Creosote oil uses... There we go. Oh. That's bucket of creosote oil. There is... Nah, there's the liquid. Ah, so the scribe's workshop would use this. That would allow me to make some uh, various books. Probably manuals and the like. Hmm. Yeah, that's railcraft stuff. And also this designer's workshop. So, the creosote... The creosote... Uh, the coke oven uh, is going to require two tables, two spaces for uh, workshops next to it. Any other uses for creosote oil? There should be some. Are they just not known to me yet? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the engineer's manual. So yeah, we will need this in here eventually. Does the designer's workshop... Yeah, the designer's workshop uses different liquids, so we're probably going to need to eventually make more than one of them. Oh dear, that's a lot of machine frames. 
Hmm. Maybe, maybe that'll be one case where I don't make one table per liquid. At least not until machine frames become cheaper. Speaking of, there's nothing for it but to do this right now. Yep, it's time to do the cog dance. Everyone's favorite type of day. So I'm going to need eight of them. Two crafts. Oof. Do I at least still have enough nano machine frames? Yes, I do. Because, yeah, we only have one of these left, and they produce four at a time. So, yeah, I just straight up need to do this twice. So let's do the most painful part first. Oh, let's also start cleaning out our inventory. Yes, I've neglected what I was up to. Just turning straw, turning wheat into straw, turning straw into straw bales, just turning straw barrels into tar bales, and then ultimately burning the tar bales just to keep getting rid of our wood tar. I forgot to light this. That was the pollution cloud. Look at that! So now that the cap has kind of pressurized. It looks like it's pushing itself all into the filter. And, yeah. See, the Coke oven is also a pretty good producer. And it's kind of little... It, it's hard to see with the nighttime now. But yeah, I can see little poofs of clouds inching their way towards the center. And now that the center has kind of built up a layer there... It'll, it'll kind of have to squirm around them, and the only place it can go to is into the filter. Yeah, see? It's kind of inching its way upwards, trying to find a path, trying to find an upward path, ultimately kind of dancing around, knowing that it can move, and it'll just eventually work its way up into there. Yeah, perfect example right there. The system works. Neat. Do I have any use for this coal? For this coke in particular? It's a cheaper way of making torches. Ultimately, we would want this for coke dust, which would be used for making... Um, for making these... Uh, it could make, Shouldn't coke dust be used for making, like, the rods for the advanced industrial... the For, the, for like, the arc furnace? I guess that must be a tech I haven't unlocked yet. Anyway, cog dance, yes. Anyway, empty out my inventory, yes. Anyway, being distracted, yes. Mm. Let's just keep our hammer over here for now. This is turning into kind of a random utility table. Let's keep the blood tanks down nya. And let's put this back where it belongs. Look at that. Stack of slime. That I didn't have to do nothing for but move some tanks around. Doesn't that feel glorious? Okay, there we go. Yep. And that's probably enough to start doing the cog dance. Okay, so... I need to actually burn some more logs. Or put some more logs on the processor, I should say. Yep. I definitely did not have quite a big enough tree farm for the massive project. It was lucky that I had a bit of a stock built up. Because otherwise I would have 
been waiting on that process and waiting on trees to grow is never good. That's an indication that you failed somewhere down the line in your planning. Okay, so gonna need 32 sticks. Gonna need 32 compressed sticks. Well, no, I'm going to need a stack of each, aren't I? Because I'm doing this twice. But let's do this eight at a time. Just for the sake of sanity and ease of counting. Going to need eight wood. And that's step one. Completed. Next. Take eight of these. Break them all down. I am glad that the pickaxe, the tinker's tools work with this. That is very nice. Thank you, Pyrotech, for your for your lovely design. Really, but you know, let's let's test it. Let's test if the iron anvil will avail us on this. So if I put these on here, then I can just take a hammer. No, I can't. Not smashy. And recipe supports... Recipe reports that I should be able to smashy, right? Yeah. Take hammer. Get rock. Except I take hammer and I no get rock. Caveman sad. And the end of the lost a little bit of juice over that, I guess. Well, we just have to do it the old fashioned way. By having a crappy old pick so that it guarantees we get some pebbles. We need a bit more. Are there any other recipes for this stuff? I mean, technically, but it's usually as a failure product of something better. Okay. going so badly. Next. Yeah, let's just... Deep. Deep. Oh, need a bit more. Right, because I, I forgot that it's the shards, not the dust. There we go. And that's all done. Excellent. Yeah, when we need more pulp, we'll have it available. I'm just letting that build up because... Uh, you know, frankly, because I have enough pulp in storage right now, so I might as well store some of it in the form of wood chips. If I start running out of slots, I'll just have to... I'll just have to crush another set of flint... If I start running out of slots to store more, I'll just have to start compacting it and burning it. Okay. Next up, the iron. How much we got? We don't quite got enough. There. 
Now we got quite enough. Oh, it's bone first. Forgive me. I think we need 24 of it in order to get enough shards. there was some better recipes for this. Yeah, I guess that the bone block. Yeah, eight, eight bone meal. If I could find a source of bone meal. Yeah. I guess that would mean that once I have the crusher making the bone stage of cogs, I'll use like one and a third of a bone instead of whatever it's using now, which is probably... Uh, oh, wait. I know exactly what it's using. It's used... Uh, I used 24 to make it 8, so it's using a bit more than... A bit less than 3, technically, because I did have some change. In any case. So that would get me roughly double efficiency. Which, honestly, eh. If I could just find a better source of bones. Well, the merchants, I guess. But I'm selling, I'm mostly selling the merchants' own bones back to them. Just to keep the glass coming. Yep. Shoot, I'm going to need more obsidian, aren't I? So we need to take a small side trip into the abyss. We needed more diamond blocks anyway. Yeah. Well, let's just do what we can in the meantime. Let's... The actual usable cogs? As soon as I have the capability, I'm probably going to be making some sort of machine to do this for me. Unless a better recipe pops up. We should be getting access to Buildcraft pretty soon. Buildcraft has a pretty good auto-assembler, I think. And this is all standard crafting table recipes. This isn't one of the nice, smancy artisan tables. So yeah, I guess there's nothing stopping us from making, like... A stack of build craft assemblers and some sort of piping system once we unlock build craft, which won't be for a little while. It's a little ways off still. Yeah, it's dealing with it. Well, let us make sure to put the tank on. Let's grab our hammer. And let's hop over to the Abyss to get some obsidian. There we go. Where's the hole that we were already digging? Hell if I can see it. Let's just pick a wall and start digging. Yes, aqua speed makes this nice and lovely. It's still... Eh, I guess I could put a little bit of redstone on the hammer. A little bit. 
but it's not terribly slow. Not for mining through obsidian. All considered. We just need to make sure that we are constantly standing... Oh, that's right, I had more bones on me. We just need to make sure that we are constantly standing in water while we're mining. Because the moment we step off of it, that gets a lot slower. So, use our bouquet. And just kind of keep ourselves going. Wet mining. What wonders of Tinker's munchkinry is have we discovered? Hate when that happens. And our problem there is that we have... Oh, we actually... I, we know what prismarine is now. Do we have any uses for it? Kinda. Not really, though. Better. And yes, I am picking up an ex an obs an excessive amount of obsidian. Sometimes words are just difficult. Life is hard. It's about three stacks. Let's just grab some diamonds to round off this trip. There's some more further up. Yeah. Not looking like it. I think that's done. Yeah, yes, and I guess that while we're here, we should remove that shameful marker. There we are. I'm sometimes getting lost on my own base just because it looks so different now. I'm looking around like, where the hell am I? Where do I go? Sure, let's keep a stock of Prismarine in there. And just like that, we got more bones than we started this whole process with, but we're going to be spending them pretty soon. So grab a stack of Obsidian, smash a stack of Obsidian, and craft a stack of obsidian. And as easy as that, we are up to making our first set of machine frames, pretty much. Oh, that's right, we need tarred planks. You know, I should, since I know that I'm going to be making two. There. Just spend those. And that reminds me to cycle the... You know... Are these... Are these compatible with hoppers? That would be decadent. But you know what? Glue is a lot cheaper right now. Well... Soon-ish... 
soon-ish we're going to get cheaper chests when we get up to when we get up to Nia. But that's going to be a little while. So... Hmm. Oh, I have enough glue anyway. Yeah, to make some chest. To make some lag spike. Huh, trap chest, is that? Anyway. Yeah, I just need 24. Okay. Okay, why not? Let's test her out. And we also need four per... Because these are also so much easier now. And and yes, this is excessive. But I think I've proven that I'm kind of... I'm playing this a bit excessive. Why not? And if the hoppers don't work, I'll figure out some sort of use for this. Oh, carpenters, of course. There. And then to make some wooden hoppers, that's just 10 more wood, 2 more glue, 4 more sticks. No, just 2 more. Hoppers. Output chest. So, output chest. Output hopper. Device. Input hopper. Is it work? It is not. Can it at least output? I guess we'll see in a minute. Just an output isn't worth it. But it would at least be something. But yes, methinks that perhaps these devices are not compatible with hoppers. Well, you know what? I'm not going to be using these Norman decorations. Not once I decided that I would be be a bit of a Scrooge when it came to my decorating. And yeah, because I'm going to tear that down as soon as the science is done. Let's just put these back down again. That's unfortunate. That has me... Hmm. That has me worried that uh, I was thinking of automating the soaking pots with hoppers, but if they don't work with them either, then... Hmm. Hmm. Well, anyway, anyway, we need 12 blocks of iron, right? Yeah, 3, 6, 9, 12. We need our two machine frames. And let's keep these in the fancy pants for the moment. Put these away. And, da, 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 da. right, we need our tarred planks. There. We need two mechanical hoppers. So that's six of those, six of those, two of those. And that should be... Do it. Good. So, that should be everything. Oh no, two steel. Two steel. And that is part one of the machine frames. Now we got to do it all over again. So let's cycle the day-night cycle and let's go visit the village and see if they got more windows for us. Because that would be less depressing news if we can 
at least get another life. Ah, yes, the lovely little jungle trees have grown up. You know... Minecraft jungle saplings grow into pretty huge trees when you lay them out on a 4x4, and so do Minecraft spruces. Maybe that would be faster, ultimately, than the dynamic trees if I just build myself a Tinker's Lumber Axe to fell them in one swoop. Yeah. It would certainly be easier to mass farm it out in the land, because I'm not worrying about them, you know, spreading out cancerously. So they don't have more windows yet. What are those glaziers doing? Is there something wrong? You're making stained glass. They must just be making the wrong color of it. Either that or this is like the several project that's been using their stained glass and they're just going through it as quickly as they're making it. Either way is unfortunate news. Hmm. Really need some pressure plates. Which possibly would mean that I need, you know, wood doors or iron doors. Eh. I hunger for further decadence. Bit of a lag spike there. So... Part two of the machine framing. Need 32 of these. 32 of these. These stashes were a good idea. Should make one for the... Yeah. There's one more slot. There is one more slot that we could... No, wait. Stash is a different recipe, isn't it? Yeah. And then for these. And then we're going to need four of these. Four of those. Oops. And then we can just have all of our intermediary products laid out as part of the system that keeps our wood chips nice and neat and orderly. And that is just kind of designs meshing together wonderfully, I think. Let's get some more on the cooker. Let's try and fill up those stashes a little bit, just so that we always have the type of wood we need available. And having a nice kind of a nice kind of hydro assisted wood farm is quite nice. Unfortunately your view gets so zoomed in that you can't tell where anything's fallen. But that's an easy fix if you have some fancy pants. Let's just do and a half. Let's get some more fuel in there. Turn the rest to charcoal. And turn all these into charcoal. It's time to cycle the pit burner? Yes, it is. But I'd probably like to use the uh, wood tar for that. Speaking of... Nope, these things are completely incompatible with hoppers. 
Hmm. You know? Rather than taking them off one at a time, it's probably easier to just pick them up with the axe and then deconstruct them. Yep. That seems to be faster and easier. there was a faster way to place them. Yes, a little bummed that these are not automatable. At least not with hoppers. Maybe when we have build craft pipes. But I somehow doubt it. Yeah, we're getting there. And in any case, there's no rush because we won't be using we won't be using coal tar for a little while yet. Yeah. Are there any other... I thought there was another work table to use the coal tar. No, it's just the Tanner's Workshop. Okay. So, never mind. I'm just misremembering things. Where was I storing these? Where was I storing these? Did I just lose a hopper? That's a very expensive thing to lose. Nope, I didn't lose it. Okay. Um Yep. On to part two. On to part two. Nothing for it. On to the cog dance. Okay, eight of these. And do I actually have 32 pebbles in storage? Yes, I do. And doop doop. is going to feel good to automate this eventually. It will feel utterly, utterly spiteful to never have to do it again. Just so disgusted with this task, I never want to see it. Yes. Let it know that I am displeased with it. have any sort of assembler, auto-crafter. Yeah. No, not really. Because, um, that projector, the projector is, um, disabled in this pack because it caused a crash. Yeah, there's all the recipes for the things it's projecting, but the projector itself, like you see, it's all the projectors of the things, but the base recipe of the projector should be removed. Yep. You cannot, in fact, build a projector. Which is unfortunate, because I'm really bad at following the immersive engineering book. Okay. And 
Let's just do that. There we go. Yes, uh, this is kind of another reason why I wanted to do the Great Enlightenment project. Why I was pushing that so hard early on, because now that we've enclosed the house, it's kind of difficult to tell when it's day and night. I could build bigger windows to make that easier, I guess, but eh, we're done decorating for a little while. So, not having to worry about it being day and night, hopefully not having to worry about an Enderman teleporting in and assassinating us. It's pretty nice. I guess the alternate means I could have done that is I could have made all my flooring half slabs to make it so that they cannot teleport in. Like, um... Like, put everything on this half slab level, because that would, yeah. But, eh, I kind of don't like the look of that. Yeah, so let's just use up this iron hammer, because eventually we want just all diamond hammers sitting there. It'll be a long time before we use it up, especially since we got another one as a reward at one point. Okay. When you have all the resources lined up, it's not so bad. It's just a little bit of clicking. He tells himself weeping bitter tears. Grab a stack of cobble. Smack a stack of cobble. Obsidian, rather. Okay. Next, we're going to need two steel. We have a mechanical compactor already. We're going to need two of these nanomachine frames, and oh boy, we're out. So that means the next time we have to do this, it's going to hurt even worse. We are going to need da, 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 two steel, two nano machine frames, mechanical hopper, and that's just it except for the 12 iron blocks. A boop. And, well, that's the hard part done. Now we have the relatively simple task of throwing together another basic workshop. Which, you've seen this dance a million times already. 36 of those. 28 of those. 6 of those. Not of those. 6 of those. 4 of those. Doop, doop, doop. And doop, doop. Doop, doop. And do I need to make more refractory? Not just yet. Honestly, I probably should, but eh. We'll do it when we need it. Doop, doop. <sighs> and now... Five of these... Three of these. Doop. And that's the worst of it over. I really should test if a piston works on those. Can I use pistons now? Yeah, I can. I, I wouldn't craft them. I'd go and steal them from one of the platforms. Eh, I'm not interested enough to go off herring off and doing that. Not right now. Maybe later. Well, I wonder if we have any wood chips to spare. Okay. 
Dip, dip, dip. Oh, not you. You. And hello, O Venerable Crafting Axe. Thank you for your service. And next we're going to need... One of those. Eleven of those. One of those. There we go. And then just dip. And dip. And dip. And that is how you dupe it. Okay, next step. Just a bunch of simple resources. Okay, easy enough. For those. Uh, six cobble, six wood. Oops. And that's it. Ta-da! Yep. And this is going to be doing a whole ton of different miscellaneous things. Probably mostly these... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yep. Bunch of unfamiliar items. I'll go through that in creative mode. I won't bore you with me scrolling through a million pages. So, can I just put this down here make myself a seared faucet and pour out into it. I can! Huzzah! So, that's our designer's workshop. Next up we want this engineer's blueprint, which is a real simple one except for that blank design pattern, which I'm going to need to go and track down some lapis lazuli. Now, I've seen a few pieces of lapis just incidentally around, but I know a better source for them. And I think I will reveal that better source tomorrow. The cog dance is just exhausting. It hurts my soul. So I'm going to call it a night here. You all have yourselves a lovely evening. <laughs>